Hello everyone, this is Mr. Kagal, and welcome to your first YouTube video for starting in band class. I hope you're excited to have your instrument and begin learning to play it. Before we go any further, let's take care of some technology learning. I'm going to show you how to find my YouTube channel and subscribe to it so that you know how to find all my band videos. Now we're going to go to YouTube and find my channel for band class. The first thing you have to do is log into your Gmail account that the school gave you. Once you're in there you'll see CISDV web and your initial here with your or maybe your picture if you've already changed it. The next thing we do to go to YouTube is click on these nine dots. These nine dots actually have a name. They're called the waffle. Click on the waffle and then scroll down to find the YouTube app. These are all the apps that Google provides. There's so many of them, but we're not going to use them all. So here's the YouTube app. Click on it. And now you should see your name over here or your picture because this is your YouTube page connected to your school Gmail account. We're going to search for Mr. Kagal. Mr. Kagal. And of course, it's really important that you spell it right. So look carefully and write it down. Press enter and I should be the only one that pops up. Shows my page available here, and it also shows how to subscribe, and then I have a lot of videos and so on. So I'm gonna click subscribe, and then I can click on my name or on the picture, it takes me to the page. You can see there's a home button, a videos button. Click on the videos tab, and it shows all the videos. But those are kind of hard to search through. The best place to go if you are in band class starting off with lesson number one is you go to the playlists. On the playlists, I've organized the videos into groups. So now I go here and you can see Sound Start Lesson 1. Click on that. That would be our first page in the band book. Okay. Let's just press pause. Don't have to hear me yet. And then go down lower. You can see in the list of all the videos in this playlist, there's four songs for the flute, clarinet, if you're a saxophone player, trumpet, trombone players, baritone, and so on. So they're all here, just for lesson one. I also have the same thing for lesson two, three, and above. Before we start playing, I have some important tips for you. Number one, always watch the YouTubes for each lesson. It helps you hear the correct sounds and rhythms and you can also see my fingers. Secondly, practice a little bit at a time. The number of minutes will depend on your schedule. Maybe five, ten minutes daily, or every second day. Everybody's house is different, so we don't know how much time you all have. Once a week doesn't work though, because your lips and your fingers don't remember what's been done seven days ago. It's called finger and lip memory. The more you do it, the better. But of course, you have other work to complete for other subjects too, so balance your work. Third, when you get stuck on a note or a rhythm, ask me or watch the YouTube again. Clap it, sing it, and do it again. But please don't forget to ask. Number four, if you really get stuck and you're frustrated, this is when you put your instrument away. Take a break. Stop. Don't make yourself more frustrated or stressed out. Go do something else. Come back to it later. And then message me. Send me an email. Ask me. Tell me what you were doing and what problems you had. I'm sure I can solve the problem with you. And number one again, just don't stress. Let's not make things worse. Let's take a closer look at Google Classroom so that you know what to look for and where to go. At this point, you should have already joined the class. But if you haven't, this is where you go. Back to your Gmail account. Click on the waffle and click on Google Classroom. Because I've already invited you, you should have an invite waiting for you like this person. So we have grade five music and band, decline or join. Obviously we're gonna join, so click on join. A few seconds here and it's done. And now you are in the grade five music band classroom for Google Classroom. 
let's take a look around here. We have the main page. We have a stream. Stream is where things are shared uh, from myself and to you. You can ask classroom questions. Classwork is where you're going to find the assignments. And um, people are the people that are connected to the account. Myself and, of course, students in grade 5. So that's basically what you're going to find in Google Classroom. Sometimes in grade 6 and 7, you might have more than one classroom to join. But that we'll worry about later. Now that you've gotten into Google Classroom and the band page, let's go and find the assignment. So here we are in Google Classroom. That's where the stream was. Here's the classwork page. And you can see it says assignment number one. Click on it. You can go down lower and go view assignments so it's bigger. And we have all the words and the instructions and some things at the bottom there attached. These big colorful bullets are attachments. So one of the first things I attached in here was where to find the pages for your band book. So this first link is the website. Click on it. At the bottom of my music website, I have put downloads for you. And let's say that you are a flute player. Well, I'll go over here and it says grade five flute. You would click on it. It would download. And you can save it to your computer. If you're able to print it off, you might just want to print the first three or four pages and I'll have a hard copy for you in school. But for right now at home, a few pages is enough. If you want to print the whole thing, that's up to you, but let your parents know about the number of pages. Downloading it and just keeping it on the screen is also fine too, as long as you are able to read from your screen while you're trying to play. There are other instruments too, of course. We have the baritone, clarinet, trombone, and trumpet. So all those choices are right here on the website. And once again, that was at the bottom of the assignment right here on the website link. The other important link in the assignment is this one here. This is a YouTube playlist that I've created full of a bunch of videos that I found were useful. So click on there. And here we go. We have this guy's name here. Um, he gives us a bunch of videos on things like putting the flute together, putting the clarinet together, um, how to get your first sounds by blowing correctly. So here's one for the flute. This girl here shows how to properly put a clarinet together, uh, then how to put the reed on properly and get a sound, beginning trumpet, beginning brass mouthpiece part one. So that's mouthpiece part one for trumpet or baritone or trombone. Then we have beginning mouthpiece part two, again, for the same three instruments. This is an important one here, how to oil your trumpet valves or baritone valves. Um, please look at that one because you may not know how to do that. Beginner baritone assembly, uh, trombone assembly. So there's always some great videos in this channel here that I'm gonna to try to keep adding when needed. So let's click out of there, go back to the assignment again, and here is where you're going to find all of my recordings and samples of how to learn to play lesson one. So here we are. This is my YouTube channel, my playlist for Sound Start Lesson One, which should match the page that you downloaded for lesson one on your instrument. Let's say that you are a clarinet player and you're going to play the first song called Looking Down. So hopefully, first of all, you've looked at the beginning of your page and you've learned where to put your fingers. Then you click on the video. Looking down on the clarinet. And there we have it. So that's the video that you would play for the first song. And I would stay on the first song until you've learned that one. Then of course you'd go to the second song and keep going further. Those videos are super important. Of course you see me playing them. You see my fingers hopefully. 
and you see my mouth so you can try to copy and do the best you can yourself. The fourth attachment in the assignment are detailed instructions on sending the video. Let's take a look at these instructions on how to send a video once you've recorded it. So we'll click on the instructions here and the page will pop up. Sending a video to Mr. Kagal. So you can imagine how difficult it was to make these instructions because every family or every person at home has a different kind of computer. Um, but the basic types are this. You have a computer that's, made, that's a Mac, so an Apple brand. They have a certain style of platform that you can find and use. Then of course we also have Windows computers that have Windows on it. Um, or sometimes they're just called PCs. The third type, of course, people can use iPads and iPhones to record videos too. But um, the hard part was choose a program, record something, and then how do I get that recording to Mr. Kagal in the assignment? I made step-by-step -step instructions here, so it's really important that you read them all and try to follow them step-by-step -step so you don't miss anything. Missing one thing will stop you from sending it. So the first set is Mac computer, QuickTime player. You could also use Photo Booth too if you want to, but you can make a video doing that. The second page shows instructions for a Windows computer. I searched the internet and they told me that a Windows computer usually comes with an app called Camera. So the Camera app also shows you how to record and there's a link here to some instructions on that as well. So once you record, you of course add it. I'll show you that later. And the third option was using an iPad or some other tablet or even your phone. So we've all, I'm sure, used the camera app on any kind of phone or a tablet, and it's easy to record something. The question is how to attach it. Well, we'll talk about that shortly.